Welcome. In this presentation, we're going to talk about NAV search capabilities. First, let's talk about how I find specific screens within NAV. I have a simple navigation pane menu over on the left side that makes it very simple for me to get to the places that I go most often. I also have a shortcut for all of the key reports that I use uh, available on my role center as well. I also have an NAV departments menu. For the places that maybe I don't go to very often, I can go into receivables and here I see a list of the various reports under the receivables menu. Or I could go into service and look at the different reports that are available within service. I also have a search box up on the top. And in this case, let's say I was looking for a shipment, customer shipment performance report. I can start typing in part of the report or screen that I'm looking for and simply select the report once I narrow it down to the one I'm searching for. I could also be looking for customers. In this case, I can open a list of customers. Once I've pulled open this list of customers, I want to search for specific customers. Let's say I want to search for Canon Group. Up here, I have a search box. I can search here on any column of data that appears in my grid. So I do have name, and let's search for C-A-N. This will show, return a list of all customers that start with C-A-N. I can also use wildcards, any customers with A-N in them, throughout any piece, any part of the customer name. If I wanted to search on another field, let's say one that's not on displayed on my grid here, I can go over to the search results and from here select on any field on the customer record. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that there are a lot of fields. This is every field that we're storing in NAV on our customer record. There's a lot of data, there's a lot of information. I could search on anyone with a zip code that starts with a six and there are none of those. I could also clear my name filter here, and now I'm looking at all customers who have a zip code that starts with a six. I can quickly remove this search filter by just hitting the red X. Same functionality exists for searching for items. In this case, I'm on an item list. I can search for all items in a specific product group code. In this case, these are all of the items in my product group code MPRG. If I want to save this list of, of this product group code for future use, I can save this filtered view of my item data so that I don't have to repeat the same search in the future. In this case, let's call this MPRG items. I've now saved this filtered list so that in the future I can click over on items and just select MPRG items and now I see that filtered list of items. Sometimes it's not as easy. I, I'm not sure what I'm searching for. Let's say a customer calls up. It's Mindy at the Canon Group and she wants to know the status of one of her orders. I ask Mindy if she knows her order number, and she says she doesn't, but she does have her purchase order number. Because I'm not sure if this is an open quote, an order, if it's already been shipped and invoiced, I'm going to use the NAV Global Search tool. Within this tool, I can simply type in anything I want. In this case, I ha Mindy has PO number P123154. I hit Enter. And NAV will search throughout various tables and fields looking for a match for that number. 
In this case, it found a, a sales shipment and a sales invoice. I can tell Mindy right now that we've already shipped and invoiced this product. Of course, Mindy would like to know how that was delivered. By drilling down to the posted sales shipment, I can see that this was shipped via UPS on November 3rd of 2010. If I'm using the NAV shipping module, I can also drill down to the detailed packages that made up that shipment, the shipping charges, and also track the package all the way back to tell Mindy who exactly it was. And you'll notice this in this uh, demonstration tracking number, this was not found. However, typically you would find the date that it was received and potentially who received that package. As, a, as another example, Mindy, while I have her on the phone, asks to also follow up on the status of PO, P062612. In this case, when I hit enter, it finds an open sales order. Mindy would like to know when this order is expecting, expected to ship. I can drill down, in this case, not to the shipment, but to the open sales order 8498 for Canon Group. And I can scroll over and see that the planned shipment date for this order is July 10th, 2012. As you can see, there are various ways to search within NAV, including the NAV Global Search Tool, which will search throughout various tables and fields for the information that you're looking for. Thank you.